And welcome to this video, we're going to show you how to get started with Terraform. So our first step is to create a user in AWS that we can use with Terraform. So we need to go into Identity Access Management. So I'm logged into the AWS console and I'm going to go to IAM, Users. And in here, I'm going to click Add User and add a user called Terraform. Access type is only going to be pragmatic as we're using with Terraform. This will create us an access key ID and also a secret access key, which we need to configure. So we'll click on attach existing policies directly and we'll choose the Amazon S3 full access. So this means this account can only configure an access S3. So we click on create user. Now we have our access key ID and our secret access key. So download the CSV file and we'll use this in a minute. So now that's done, we move on to the next stage where we need to install the Amazon AWS PowerShell module. This module will help us set up the credentials. So now that's installed, we're going to install two extensions which can come in quite handy when you're creating your Terraform configuration files. So we'll open up extensions and we'll install the first one, which is the Terraform extension. Now that's installed, we'll install the Terraform autocomplete extension. So this essentially gives you the autocomplete like uh, the PowerShell extension would give you. So now that's completed, let's move on and set up credentials that we can call from within our Terraform configuration files. So we use a commandlet called get AWS credential. If we execute that, you'll see we've got nothing there at the moment. So we, we need to use our access key and our secret key. So we open up our spreadsheet and we copy out our access key. And I'm just passing, gonna pass that into variable. Then we paste out the secret key. So next, in a hash table, we set up our parameters. So we've got the access key, the secret key, and we're going to store it as Terraform. That's the name we're going to give to this profile and a location. So we're just putting this in our users. Uh, we're, we're logged in as administrator. So we're keeping the credentials in the .aws credentials folder. This is the default. And there you see all the parameters that we'll pass in to a commandlet called set AWS credentials. So we can go back and we can use the get AWS credential commandlet. And there we can see our shared credentials file is set up. If you do have any issues, there's another commandlet, remove AWS credential profile, use the parameter profile name, and that will remove the profile that you've set up if you need to set it up again or remove it after this demo. So finally, we actually need to install Terraform. So from their website, if you navigate to their download page, they have versions for most of the popular OSs. In this case, I'm using the Windows 64-bit version. So having downloaded that onto my machine, I've copied it into a folder called C colon backslash Terraform, and you'll see the zip file there. We'll go ahead and just expand that. So that basically extracts a file called terraform.exe. So we've now finished setting up an environment. Now we need to, to configure Terraform. Now this is very straightforward. I've created a very basic file which has one provider and one resource. So in the provider, we define it as AWS. I've set it to the region that I'm working in, which is EU West 2. Then I need to point it to the credentials file that we've created by using the parameter shared credentials file. And after that, we need to tell it which profile we want to use. So we're gonna use the Terraform profile. So at this point, we need to actually execute terraform.exe with a command called INIT. This means initialize. Now when we do this, Terraform will read any Terraform configuration files 
in the same folder with the .tf extension. It will look into those files and it will look for the provider. And when it finds a provider, it will initialize the environment for that particular provider. So let's go ahead and do that. So there you see it's detected that we want to use AWS and it's now downloading a plugin for AWS. And that's it. Terraform is now set up and ready to use. So using the same file here, now we know our provider's initialized, we're gonna create what's called a resource. Now the resource that we are creating is an Amazon S3 bucket. This is defined as AWS underscore S3 underscore bucket. If you're looking for details of more resources, the website is very rich with resource syntax and also it'll tell you the number of resources and available resources for each provider. There's numerous examples you can work through as well and the links will be included in this video. So in this instance, we've chosen AWS underscore S3 bucket. We're gonna call that resource Terraform-bucket. Now that won't be the actual name of the bucket in AWS. That's the name that we are referring to in our Terraform configuration. In AWS, it will actually appear as PACT-Terraform-bucket, where we set the parameters. And you'll see we've all, we're only gonna set two. We're keeping this very simple. We're gonna set the bucket name and we're setting the ACL to private. Provided your provider details and your resource details, we then need to run a command called Terraform plan. So Terraform plan essentially analyzes your Terraform configuration file. It checks it to make sure it can access AWS and it checks the file for what resources you want created. So it said Terraform will perform the following actions and you'll see the parameters listed there. So where you haven't specified a parameter, it will create that at runtime. So you'll see our bucket name and our ACL, which is private. So running Terraform plan will do nothing but inform you of what is going to actually happen when you execute this. At this point, we haven't created anything in AWS. And I can show you, as you'll see here, we have no buckets. So I do a refresh. So let's go back. So how do we actually create this resource? Quite easily, we just run apply. We're now prompted to say yes. Once we say yes, this will actually connect to Amazon and it will create our resource. And there you'll see apply complete resources one added. So we can go back across do a refresh, and there you can see the bucket that we've created, the PACT-Terraform bucket. So you now probably want to know, how can I remove that resource? So again, very straightforward. We use the command Terraform Destroy. So you'll see it will analyze the configuration files in that folder, and it will look at resources it can destroy. We only have our S3 configuration file in, so it's found at the S3 bucket. So we'll just go ahead and remove it. And that's it, gone. So if we go back to the console, it doesn't exist. If we go back into S3, do a refresh, and the bucket has been removed. Thank you for watching this video.